In this video, we're going to compare and contrast the German Shepherd versus the Belgian Malinois versus the Blue Healer. All three of these dogs are intensely loyal, courageous, and brave. But these three dogs are also very different. In this video, we'll explain their different temperament, if they're good with families, and what kind of exercise requirements these three dogs need. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos so that you and your family can make the best decision on your next pet. Also, down below in the description, we put some of our favorite dog products. Those are affiliate links. As we look at these three dogs, we know that they're different sizes and they have different jobs and responsibilities. And some of them are good family dogs, maybe others are not. But in this video, we'll explain everything you need to know about the German Shepherd, Belgian Malinois, and Blue Healer. First, we'll start with the German Shepherd, one of the most popular dog breeds for good reason. They are intensely loyal, hyper smart, and a dog breed that will not leave your side no matter what. They're great at taking direction and they will protect you and your family at all costs. There really is very little negative about the German Shepherd, other than they shed quite a bit. But other than that, the German Shepherd is one dog that we know and love on this channel because they are smart, brave, and loyal. Compared to the Belgian Malinois and Blue Healer, they are definitely a little bit bigger. They can go up to 125 pounds for a male and they can have long hair, which makes them shed even more than a short hair. They're not as agile or as intense as a Belgian Malinois, and they don't have the exercise requirements like a Blue Healer. But a German Shepherd still needs exercise. They need about a half hour a day to exercise both their mind and their body. Also, a German Shepherd needs to be socialized early. If this is done, They'll be great with other pets and humans. German Shepherds are easily trained and can make a wonderful dog if you socialize them early, train them well, they can be a lifelong friend and pet for your family and one that you don't have to worry about and you'll absolutely see why German Shepherds are so popular among dog owners. Next, we'll take a look at the Belgian Malinois. The Belgian Malinois is sometimes called a super dog. We've made a video about the super dog on our channel. I'll be sure to link that now. This dog is a super dog as they are a part of police and military because of their intense smarts, their agile body, and their ability to do just about anything. They can run, jump, swim, fetch, anything that you need makes them ideal candidate for these elite level jobs. But can these dogs also be a family dog? The answer is yes. As long as you socialize them early and train them well early, they can be a family dog. But the most important thing with a Belgian Malinois is they need exercise, room to run, and the ability to burn off all of their energy. This dog's gonna be smaller than the German Shepherd and about the same size as a Blue Healer. They can be anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds. They're moderate shedders and dogs that have high exercise requirements. We can't stress that enough. So unlike the German Shepherd, that's a little more laid back than the Belgian Malinois, this dog is similar to the Blue Healer. They need space, they need to run, and they need to be active. If you can't provide this for a Belgian Malinois, this may not be the best dog for you. Maybe a German Shepherd would be better. A Belgian Malinois needs a lot of space to run, just like the Blue Healer. But their temperament can be fun, goofy, and enlightening. But don't be confused. This dog is brave, confident, and on alert, very protective, and a dog that you and your family can be active with for a long time. And if you're active with this dog, they'll live a long, happy life with you and your family. The last dog that we'll look at is the Blue Healer, or the Australian Cattle Dog. There's Blue Healers and there's Red Healers. 
We did a video about this and there's no difference between a blue and red healer and they both are Australian cattle dogs. But a blue healer absolutely needs a job to do. It needs space to run and it needs to be active with you. This dog is moderately sized anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds and they are super active looking for a job. If you don't give them a job, they'll find their own job. And that usually means destroying your house. This dog, unlike the German Shepherd, is a lot more active, more like a Belgian Malinois and sized like a Belgian Malinois as well. It doesn't have the super athletic ability like the Belgian Malinois, but they're still very active, love to run, love to chase, and love to be outside. If you can't provide this type of vigorous activity for a blue healer, then they're probably not right for you. Maybe a German Shepherd would be better. But a blue healer is intensely loyal, loves their family, alert and brave, similar to the Belgian Malinois and German Shepherd. Like the German Shepherd, they are heavy, heavy shedders, and it's something to be aware of if you go with a blue healer. But a blue healer and a Belgian Malinois need a lot of activity. A German Shepherd, a little bit more laid back, still all three of these dogs are loyal, protective, and alert, and are in that upper tier class of dogs that are looking to protect you, know what's going on at all times with their family and property, and if you can give them the exercise, these are outstanding dogs that will be with you and your family for a long time to come. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we will see you on the next one.